New at 11, a Monroe Street makeover in Greektown. The new state budget expected to be signed by the governor includes a $20 million grant for the project. The plan calls for overhauling Monroe Street to make it more pedestrian friendly. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is in Greektown tonight where business owners and visitors alike are all for it. A lot of country music fans down here in Greektown today with Morgan Wallen at Ford Field. And that just goes to show that Greektown is that spot where a lot of visitors come to when they visit downtown Detroit. And business owners here in Greektown in the state of Michigan hope to continue that trend. A staple in the city of Detroit for decades. On any given summer day, Greektown attracts residents and visitors alike. Well, you know, there's a buzz in Detroit, and this is kind of the heartbeat of it right here. Dave Feemster was born and raised in Detroit, visiting this week from Colorado. Greektown, one of the first stops on the list. What do you think of Greektown? We love Greektown. Every year we come back here and this is the first place we go. Pegasus is our favorite. But by next year, his visit may look a bit different once a $20 million redesign gets underway. We're totally excited and uh, proud that we can get to revamp our street to showcase our culture one more time. Yanni Dianasopoulos owns three businesses along Monroe Street, which will soon be redone as a curbless, more walkable pedestrian street adding more space for outdoor cafes and better for festivals and events. You're going to get the full experience of being on a street in Athens, let's say, um, with the outdoor dining, uh, a totally revamped street with more trees, greeneries. Yanni says the project has been nearly five years in the making and can't wait until the project is complete. Those visiting Greektown today also looking forward to the future. I think that's going to be awesome. It's going to bring a lot more people down here and uh, it's going to help the businesses out too. I love it. I think it's nice. Nice and comfortable and safe. Safe. And Yanni says that project should hopefully be completed by this time next year. And as for festivals, they have one coming up here on July 29th. That's the big Heritage Festival in Greektown. In Greektown tonight, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.